on Instagram, you'll know that I recently did Chris's makeup from Motionless in White and I did it for the Nottingham show and he really liked it so he's asked me to come back and do the lead show which is today. He's going to let me film it so we're going to have a tutorial with Chris coming out soon and yeah I hope you enjoy this little vlog and I hope you enjoy the tutorial too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! survive at all because today I'm literally just gonna stay in my jammers and snuggle in this fur Woo! because I'm fucking tired like I don't know how they manage like I can't remember how many shows they've got for this tour but uh, it's more than any normal person can probably put up with because like the show doesn't finish till late and then they drive into a new city and then they gotta do it all again I mean, I only went to, I only worked at two of the shows and I'm like half dead, so I don't know how they must feel, man, honestly. So yesterday, before the gig, I filmed a little bit and I was like, oh, I'm gonna vlog, it's gonna be so good, woo! And actually, I forgot to film a lot, as usual, just completely forgot. But Chris let me film um, the makeup look that we did on him. We did like a creepy, psychotic looking clown. A kind of Harley Quinn style, because, well, it wasn't aimed to be like Harley Quinn, but that will be what everyone will reference it from because of the Harley Quinn pattern on one of the eyes. So everyone's going to be like, Harley Quinn! But that's not what it was actually based off. It's just like a creepy clown look that I did and Chris really liked it so we tried to recreate it but on his face. So this is the look that we based Chris's makeup on yesterday. 
Um, he did really like the teeth and stuff, but obviously he wouldn't be able to wear that on stage. The first night that I did Chris's makeup, we decided to go for like a really strong glam look. Um, we used lots of purples and blacks, smoked that shit out and threw in some glitter on it. it had a kind of 80s feel to it, but it really suited him, it was a good look. Unfortunately, I didn't film any of that. But if you do want to see me do a tutorial of the look that I did on Chris, comment below and I'll get that done for you because it's a pretty nice look so I won't mind slapping it on my own face. And when I did his makeup the second night, I actually did film that so there will be the creepy clown tutorial coming out soon. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Except for, get off! <laughs> I seen Chris after the show and everything was still perfectly intact except for the lipstick, which is because he's like in the mic all the time. But yeah, I was so impressed actually. Like, obviously, when you're doing your makeup like day to day and you're using all this setting and you're putting powder on stuff and then you're using a setting spray. And you, you don't really know if it works or not because you never really do anything that's testing the makeup that much. But when Chris is like on stage whipping all his hair around, getting sweaty, I think that's like the ultimate test to see how good your makeup is at lasting. And yeah, I'm fucking so impressed with the products that I use because everything was still perfect. I was really worried about the eyebrows like messing up, but nah, everything was everything was so good so that was super impressive I don't actually think I've really got anything else to say about the last few days but um, I'm sorry that I didn't really film a vlog kind of thing or get much behind the scenes I just kind of forgot so sorry about that if you would have liked to have seen that I'm sorry but uh, I will say it's been like such a good two days I'm so glad we got together to collab because He's just like a dream to work on. He he already had like reference pictures up of my work that he liked, so it made it easier for me to kind of pick what looks we could do on him. Um, he's super nice, super relaxed, so funny, like we had such a laugh. He's just a genuine nice guy and that is like the dream client. Like someone who is just nice, easy to get along with, you can have a laugh and be yourself as well. When you're around some clients sometimes as a makeup artist you feel like you can't really be yourself because especially me like my personality I swear a lot um I kind of like have a weird sense of humor it's a little bit out there I make some sick jokes so sometimes I have to kind of mask the personality but with Chris and that it was just so fun so yeah I just want to say a huge thanks to Chris for letting me come to the shows and doing his makeup. It's been awesome. It's been a brilliant collaboration. So thank you so much. And thanks for everyone for watching this little vlog. Keep an eye out for the tutorial that will be coming out in a few days. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.